This weekend, I'm going to talk about expectation. I sure have big expectations myself. I'm headed for New Orleans, where we will join our spiritual retreat cruise, our 20th year celebration spiritual retreat cruise. And we're going to be sailing from New Orleans and going to uh, Mahogany Bay, Roatan, Honduras, Belize, Cozumel, and then back again to New Orleans. It is going to be a wonderful time. This is going to be our last spiritual retreat cruise like this for a while. We're reinventing what we do. We're going to be asking your opinion. Uh, for instance, we're considering taking a river cruise in Europe. Uh, there are some advantages to this. It would be a small group size. Singles could go for, um, uh, you know, not double the price like on a cruise. And um, uh, it would be a wonderful time of being together in a smaller group of about 20 or 25. We're also considering a trip to the Holy Land, uh, pretty much the same, a smaller group. Uh, and it would be, again, uh, available for singles, which is important. We're going to do another spiritual retreat cruise probably in our 25th year, uh, so be looking for that. But uh, we needed to reinvent this because many of our core group are getting older or they're no longer able to cruise, and uh, so it's, uh, it's just not as viable. I don't care about making money on it, but I do care with donor money if we're losing a lot of money and we uh, can't continue in that way. So uh, be listening for uh, our questions that we have for you. What would you like to do or would you like to do it? Uh, we are going to be um, thinking about these things in the future. I love doing these and uh, kind of... Uh, you know, reluctant to give it up totally. Let's talk about expectation. In Psalms 32, verse 11, it says, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice and shout for joy. Let's begin this weekend with happy thoughts, cheerful words, and great expectations. How wonderful it is to greet this brand new weekend and begin it with happy expectations. When we look forward to all the joy that it can hold, when we're open and receptive to all the blessings that it can contain, our good is already here, it's provided by God, and we are ready to accept it. It is absolutely great to be alive. And we can hardly wait to receive the good that this weekend holds, to accomplish the goals that we have set for ourselves, to relish the achievements that we will make today. With the help of God, we will be a victor in our life. We will learn and will grow and will be absolutely radiantly alive. We will gratefully accept our healing and gratefully accept the abundance that is already prepared for us. We will love and will be loved. We will shout for pure joy of living and we will be fulfilled. We begin this weekend with happy thoughts, cheerful words, and great expectations.